On today's episode of The Good, the Bad, the Funny, Stanley Eno, Flavor vs. Pete Pay, and the University of Boya unveils a new fountain. This is The Good, the Bad, the Funny. You're welcome to the first ever episode of your funniest show, the good, the bad, the funny world, we'll bring to you all the funniest news happening around you. Today we'll be talking about uh, Stanley Enos altercation with the Brazilians the Cameroon. We'll be talking about uh, flavor and pity is careful, and we'll also be talking about a lot of things that make sense, the funny sense around you. So let's begin with uh, Stanley Enos altercation with Brazilians the Cameroon. Well, the young rapper reportedly tore down some posters, and he has been supposedly find the sum of 30 million CFA francs. Some other sources say it's 10 million, but whatever the case, we caught up with a young artist and asked him, uh, Stanley Enno, how are you going to pay this money? And all he could reply us was, ask pay to pay, now God go pay and pay. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, there was a little scuffle between PTP and Flavor at the last mega concert in December as to who will close the event. All I could say is, Flavor, you're in Cameroon, let PTP do his stuff. And all I could say is, PTP, hey, your picture wasn't on the poster. Okay. <laughs> what it's not is, while both of them were arguing, Stanley Enno climbed on stage and tore down all the posters. <laughs> In other news, the University of Boye has unveiled a historical landmark in front of the campus that features a very, very beautiful flowery landscape and a water fountain. However, the university authorities have had a difficult time controlling that area and so they have issued a public service announcement. It reads, Dear inhabitants of the Boya vicinity, especially those around the University of Boya. What we inaugurated was a water What we inaugurated was a water fountain and not a swimming pool. <laughs> Science. Let me see. <laughs> Studies have revealed that most women who manipulate phones during dates are either texting, tweeting, or Facebooking. But most males, most guys who use phones during dates are neither texting, tweeting, nor Facebooking. They're just checking out the price of the drinks with their mobile calculators. <laughs> Damn, that's expensive. <laughs> hey, that's all we have for you on today's episode of The Good, The Bad, The Funny. Be sure to tune in next time with us, and whatever you do out there, keep it funny. And let's hand